In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula began the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumours of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. Hey. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Hey. Yeah. So some shit went down and they walled it off. What happened inside was never disclosed. Interesting. I have. <laughs> let, let, let this finish. <laughs> <clears throat> I love this setting, by the way. This is this is my favourite kind of uh, environment. Hence why I've played it before. Um, so I have already done a bit of a playthrough of this already. I've got up to, like, steel level. Turn it off. I don't want... I don't want music. Does the music come included? It's very loud. Can I turn it down? Okay. Oh, well, we're gonna drive. We're gonna drive. I'll turn off my <coughs> FPF, FPS in a minute. We're just gonna drive. Holy shit, this is so loud. Give, give one second. Bloody hell. So yeah, I, I, have, I have played this game already to an extent. I've not got very far, but I just thought, I was like, I should just do a playthrough and just slap it on YouTube. It's an awesome game. So it's set in the Pacific Northwest full of like forests and trees and rain and cool environments. It's great. Is this copyright free? I don't know. Oh, put a wipers on. Yeah, nice and chill. I love this environment. This is like my aesthetic. I absolutely love it. Shot left, shit. <laughs> just killed myself. So we're just driving, taking in the environment. I'm a bit miffed you can't turn the music off because it kind of ruins the ambience. I don't remember the music playing the first time. It's very difficult to drive a car on a keyboard too. Woo, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Woo. So we're going down the dirt path. Going around. Rocks. Is that video where it's like, rocks in? But it just says rocks. Rocks. Oh, that actually, yeah, that actually frightened me a little bit. Can't lie. Now I have done this before. I have done this before. I, 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 I know what's coming. So this, this, this is the wall that they were talking about at the start. So it must be leaking. Oh. Great. Power's gone. Car's dead. Oh! Right, yeah, I... I knew that was gonna happen, man. Oh, shit myself. Damn, it's loud. And we wake up in the zone. So this is uh, my car. About well, what used to be my car. <laughs> Just stuff flying. Fine transportation. There's my engine. There's a panel. There's a door. This stuff's killing me, by the way, so I could do with finding a car pretty quickly. I love the environment. So cool. Uh, controls crouch, yeah. I don't really crouch much in this game, mate. I did forget the controls. <laughs> love it. And here Hello. is our baby. Out there. Hello. Huh. What a swine. Slap the wheel on. Get in. Turn it on. Put in drive. Let's go, baby. I oh, I forgot. When you first get the card, the, the wheels are knackered, and it, it, it turns right and it's on. It's a very difficult drive. But eventually, we will have a beast of a car. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Interferometer? Oh, interference. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Oh. Out of fuel. Could they, I mean... Could they so we got a fuel can in the back. We haven't Could even got a boot door. 
which is hey, hey, not ideal. Into the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and looked to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, but you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. I mean, feel like a few miles east. It's quite a good system. I've not had to use it that much uh, in the past. Um, you know, like one tank of fuel seems to do the job. I think the only time it's been a problem is where some destinations you have to do like two trips. Yeah, it can be, it can take quite a lot of fuel, but you can upgrade your fuel tank and things like that. It's a typical like upgrade your car sort of game. It's great. I love it. You know, I hope you guys love it too. It's a very difficult drive right now. That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Yeah, baby, it is. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. Wheels in here for ages. Boy, I've killed to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Woo -hoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm actually gonna die. Okay. <laughs> We're not allowed to have fun in this game. Back, baby. Now, what if. Stop talking, my guy. Yourself, Stop talking, my guy. 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 I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say now. It ruined everything. Oh, my tire come off. Um, that ain't good. That ain't good. Can we make it to the garage? Sort of. <laughs> Hell yeah, we can. There we go. Perfect. So we we made it to office garage. This is basically the uh, the main game hub. Oosh. Turn the power on. Yeah. A quick backpack. Uh, the backpack is here. Oh, God. Who's there? Me. Shop. God, it's been breached. It has been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Oh, my head. Uh, oh. Sam, emergency broadcast. Mm. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on a. Oh, dude, look at the tires. <laughs> That's why he was driving so bad. And that wheel's come off. This person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car and. Well, uh, the old Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire <laughs> collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Uh, tell her that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. <laughs> He's fucking annoying. <laughs> Have a breach, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Yeah, man. Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Yeah, it's not mad. Not Wait. Mad I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Bit of a bitch thing to say, Oppie. Yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Okay. Thanks, Oppie. You little ledge. There's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. Let me heal up real quick. You'll come to find that Oppie's a bit of a bitch and the other two guys are really nice, but Oppie's the one with a bit of brain cell. Like, she actually knows what she's fucking doing. So, eh. You win some, you lose some, you know. Right, slap this on the car. So yeah, we'll slowly upgrade this car and it will become a bit of a beast. But it's still a difficult game. Some people say that it's a horror game. I don't really... 
it's not scary, it's just panicky. It makes you panic a lot. So, in that sense, yeah. For me, it's a, it's a horror game because it makes me fucking panic. It's still fun. It doesn't make it unbearable. Anyway, add to your to-do list, crude door. Hint checklist. The reason why I'm doing a playthrough now, after playing it as well, is because the game doesn't do a very good job of telling you how to do things. It's not the best, but we'll get there. And there's also the friendly dumpster. This guy's a G. It just gives you free stuff. It's great. Gives me a flare. And another flare. And a scrapper. Now with this you can uh, scrap cars for materials. It's, really, it's quite fun actually. Because there's not just crude cars in the environment. There's also like steel cars and cars with better materials on them. So you get better materials that way. It's fun. I highly recommend playing it if you haven't already. And eventually, <laughs> after a few runs, we will have lockers full of materials. Like, it's always worth grabbing them when you're out, but when you've got so many, it's fun because it just stacks up and you just end up with a shit ton of material. Craft, hell yeah. Slap this bitch on, wait. Nice. Repair the car body, repair putty. Oh, I've surely got some. Sweet, slap. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Like, whether it's like petroleum jelly or, or what. It works wonders. Full of protein. You had to do this after every trip as well. Which makes me debate. There's a setting you can turn on that actually repairs your car when you come back into the shop. Bonk. Install car bar boxes in the truck. Ah, yeah. So this is like our basic storage when we're out. It's actually pretty good. It can take a lot of materials. Yeah. Now we don't have a boot door for now. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Sounds like Rick Sanchez. <laughs> Bam! There we go. That's sweet. We're good this to go. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. North Star. <laughs> you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about oh, it. Oh, shut about. Live long enough to use Oh, shut it. about this computer. Not, not, not the car. <laughs> oh, car. Throw the switch to charge the battery. It's alive! And this is, uh, where you're planning your, your trips. Orders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. Okay. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. Oppie? Mild we don't give a shit. It's caused by something we call instability. Instability. You're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it shoot through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. So this is our first destination. Uh, again, it's, it's a bit tutorial-y. Once you get over the, the hump of the tutorial section, it, it gets better. Uh, you sort of learn it as you go along as well. We should be able to smash through it pretty quick. Have I got a door open? Oh, it's because my boot's open. Yeah, I don't have a door in my boot. <laughs> okay, newbie, I'll keep this simple. I don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna and the garage. First on the list is plasma. Woo. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Right. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. No, you don't get them if you cut it open. It takes a long time to cut it open. The device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Um, eventually, we'll upgrade the scrapper and we'll get an impact hammer. It's great. Anything else? Sweet. It's all Order's fault. So I think Order's like the government um, in this game. Some sort of like... It, it seems very loosely based on like SCP. Because there's what's called anomalies in these areas that have like names and things. Very similar to like SCP creatures. Not as creepy. Well, I've not come across one that's as creepy as SCP yet. But there, there's, there's a lot to this game. It's going to be a long playthrough. You know, just 
Sit back and enjoy the sound of the rain. Chill out. I'll try not to scream too much. Should be fine. What is that noise? Very ominous. I love the ambience in this game. I'm dying. Radiation, apparently. But it kills you very slowly, so you've got time. Now we should have enough for an impact hammer pretty soon. I think we've got enough. I don't like the sound that Geiger counters make. They, that is one of the creepiest noises in the world. Like the clicking freaks me the fuck out. I don't like it. I think radio static as well. Like when I used, I played a little bit of Silent Hill 2 when I was a kid. And the radio static in that game, obviously you knew it was to do with something scary. Shit, I need a gear. But you can make a gear out of scrap metal, so it's fine. Yeah, with Silent Hill 2, like, it was obviously to do with something scary, so it was bound to freak me out. But just the noise itself is just creepy. Okay, I've got some plaid math. Let's just put my tables in here. I could do with making another scrapper. It's quite nice that the game makes essential tools quite cheap to make. You're never really struggling. What's that noise? How's it beeping at me? Now these guys coming up, that's an anomaly. This one's uh is it called a teletransporter? They're little bastards. Because they grab your car, the abductor. Yeah, makes more sense. I don't know why they grab your car or if you can prevent it. But they've got like a magnetic <laughs> a magnetic magnet. Yeah, so a magnet that grips your car and like flings you into the trees. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch. Oosh. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis uh -huh. to death? Hello to you too, Oppy. And no, I'm still here. That's got it. So really, you're meant to scan everything in this game, but I always forget it. I have no idea what that was. Is that hitting my car? I don't think it is. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Yes it is. Kill it. Shit. I did not think that was going to hit my car, but it did. I'm going to go get this one. Ah, let me alone. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. Like, these are the tutorial ones, so there's only one. Like one of the Some of them have, like, stations. three plasma generators, and it's a ball egg. <laughs> I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower yeah, up, yeah, yeah. up on a hill somewhere. Yada, yada, yada. Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. I think it's if you drive in their life. 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants can show their own objects that do all sorts of weird things. If they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. Cheers, guys. This is the first time we've ever got our hands nice on one. one. <laughs> but we know all I'm about gonna the die. past <laughs> and all. Gosh, Sweet. this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission Oppie? critical will be on a low Oppie, fuck frequency. Off. I want to Those explain something. Will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your right. leisure. And by oh, low priority, fuck. I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Right. As I, I was going to say, this is a transmuter. Uh, so what it'll do, it'll take glass shards and turn them into electronics, I believe. Yeah. But, whenever I've done it, it doesn't work. It does this, it takes it. Oh! It gave me one electronic. Do I have to do it like... Oh. So I have four. No, see... It... I'll scan it, but... Yeah, I... It's janky. 
Search every cr <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> hey. Chemicals. Things like chemicals can be quite hard to find because not every area in the zone has like houses and shacks like this. And you only really find chemicals within houses and on the road again. They're never there on the road again. I don't, I don't know the song. I just know it from Shrek. Woo! Oh, okay. So these guys, these guys are good, but they're also creepy. Uh, these are called tourists. I did not like. Whoa! Wait. Let me look away. Let me give it a minute. Do they get... Do... Oh! They do! Oh, I didn't... Oh! 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 I didn't know they did that! Oh, shit. Uh, oh, no, I should not have done that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please, no. Oh, he's gonna track me and swim. He's gonna drag me to him. No! He's gonna explode! Ah! Get off, dude! You asshole! Absolute ass. Right. As I was saying, these guys have thermal sap crystals in them, and they're very valuable later on in the game. And to get them, I don't know if they all drop them, but you get them to explode. And round again! Man, I'm gonna run around. My car's in surprisingly good nick after that crash. You're gonna explode! My first playthrough with this, this area took me like two hours because I just explored everything. Maybe not two hours, but it, it took a lot longer than this. I didn't think the tourists were in the first part of the game, but I didn't know they fucking moved either. That's creep. That's creeped me out more now. I didn't know that for a thing. What? Battery? Why is it? Oh, it's parking. Anyway. Turn this on. Broadcast transmitter. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. Oh yeah, It'll baby. Get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the anchors. That's display. what they call. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Oh yeah. And don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. We'll be out of here soon, so. So, no reason to learn more about the bigger, than you need to know. sorry, the bigger the, why am I apologizing? The bigger the yellow circle, the more charge it's gonna give. Now, it's worth grabbing more than less. So, like, you can get to the red line, and that means you can transport out, but the more energy you actually take back to the base means you can unlock more upgrades because the upgrades require energy. So, we'll mark we'll mark this one first, and then we'll grab this big one last and get the fuck out of here. Can we just drive down here? Yeah, fuck it. Oh, no! Oh, oh they're gonna explode. They're gonna explode. They're gonna explode. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to park up, leave the car running. We are not going to die to the tourists. We're going to go grab this anchor. Is it quite far away? How far are we talking? Should I get my car? Oh, Jesus. It, it, it's quite... Oh, it's there. Wait. I... I'm confused. I'm, I'm lost. Go! Oh! That's the guy. That's the guy. That's the guy! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. oh, it's not coming out of me. It makes me panic so bad. This is what I mean. Like, the sounds and the gameplay and just everything makes me panic a lot. And it freaks me out. Okay, get it, get it. Oh, open the door! Get it in. Ah! Oh. Breathe. Nice. Now, technically, we could. The device is charged and ready. Oh, the there is another one. Open a gateway back to the garage. Can't be asked. It will immediately collapse the stability around you. 
Let's go get this last one. Oh shit. Oh shit. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Now, I should also say, the more energy you take out of the area, the quicker the zone. Shit. The quicker the zone caves in. Yeah, that's the ballards. Yeah, okay. Get him now, get him now, get him now. Right, we're going. Let's go, baby. Woo! into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Hell yeah. Woohoo! Shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Ballard's popping out the ground. Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! Help! <laughs> go, 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 go! Let me in! Oh! Cause I'll turn it on. Yeah. So that's our first run. That's our first uh, excursion. That was that was good. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station for now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? So, yeah, this is the fabrication system. Uh, so this is where you take your, as you can see, there. It says 2.4 stable energy. That's what we picked up from the previous run. You come in here. Scan antenna requires 1k limb. But yeah, we get this. Uses up some energy. Pumps this out. You can take this. And you can plunk it on the roof. Where, where, wherever the roof is. Sweet. I don't actually know what the antenna does. I don't know what it does for us. But it does some of it. And you have to do it, so. <laughs> Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Okay. Install handbrake. Ah. Jesus. Oh. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Yeah, I have done. Don't you worry about it, my little pretty. Um, ow! I forgot you could hit your head in this game, yeah, yeah, it, it's a thing. Let's kick the car out a bit. Need a back bumper, side panel, two panels. And that should be the car? Yeah, now we just need to repair it. I'm actually going to maintain this door because this is a steel door. Uh, it's not a bad door. It's better than crude anyway. Good. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I'm sending sure. you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, okay. but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Okay. Which would make my life easier, so your call. So this is where I unlocked steel. Um so I need to research the steel sheet. Uh go across steel sheet. And then with this we can research these. Now we can only research two. We'll do steel door. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to make them. We might be able to. Maybe. And then we can jump straight into the story mission. Gather stuff on the way. I'm interested. How do you get this wood finish on it? 
It looks really nice, and I like it. Sweet. Right, we actually look, we're, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Do we go straight to Siren? It, it can be tricky. It's quite a big mission. My wheels are shocking, but I don't have enough energy. Let's go to E5. We've got to E5. Grab an anchor. Research the wheels. Get the new wheels. All is well. Oh! Right, okay. That's fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. We're okay. Where's my car? Oh, yeah. So that's one anchor. Oh. Um, is that the only way out? There's a way out here. If you're too close, uh, you can't you can't activate it, basically. There's one way out here. Um, I kind of want... Who kind of want it? What's the best way? I could genuinely just try and cut across here. Oh my god, this is not happening. This is not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. <laughs> to the car! To the car! Oh my god, it's 180 meters away. Joking. Sure. Oh shit. Ow! 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 No! No! Where's my car? Oh! Oh. Oh. I think we're over the worst bit. I think I think we're good. Oh. oh okay. Let's oh shit. So this is like a an earthquake cloud. It, it causes like earthquakes and it's it's a real pain in the ass. As you can see it's slowly moving south. Um and we're right on the outline before we can't use the teleports. We're in the best spot. Um, so I might I might just wait for it to pass. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're not boring. It's boring otherwise. It's fine. Let's go. Why am I driving so slow? Can we My car's not on. <laughs> I was like, why why is it driving so slow? I hadn't even turned the ignition on. Oh shit. Oh buddy. Oh buddy. Oh, buddy. Right, okay, yeah, there we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Yeah, we've done it. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Do not get another puncture, and we are good. Woohoo! Why am I driving so slow? God, I'm barely making 40. Seriously, why is the car so slow? My car's got radiation in there, apparently. Why is my car radiated? Here we go, baby! Great, we're back! Yeah! Park up. No, no, that thing Park. you saw was not Bigfoot. Never was, never will be. Double and Tobias and Francis, fill your head with that nonsense. Yeah, they come out with bangers like that. I, uh, it's all right. It, it's a bit annoying when you're trying to talk over it, but I suppose most people won't be talking <laughs> over it, so. We actually come out fairly okay, though. When you come over here, now you'll see we've actually got two energy. That's not a right lot. I thought we might have got more than that, but we'll get more in the future. You can obviously research circuit boards. We want to research this. And summer wheels. Really, off-road tires are the best ones because you actually do a lot more off-road than you think. Actually, we might be able to, we might be able to unlock them. What a catch! Oh, you're joking me! Oh, if I hadn't unlocked the bumper, I could have done it. At least now we can maybe sort out our, our panels. So that's a crude panel. That's a crude panel. Crude, crude. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Uh, shit! <laughs> I, made, I made four bumpers! <laughs> I made four crude bumpers and I didn't even steal bumpers! 
Oh, you idiot. That's like in Minecraft where you accidentally hold shift and make like 64 axes or whatever. You need two. Oh my god. Right, okay, so one. And then we need six steel sheets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this bad boy. Made of steel. Can I make a steel bumper? Probably, probably not, no. Okay, so I just took a short break. By short break, I mean like a full evening. And I noticed during editing that first part, the A, I had no noise uh, suppression on, so you could hear fucking everything. And you could also hear all my like uh, keyboard clicking, so I do apologize for that. But anyway, see you Um, I think we're pretty much ready. We've got, um, steel panels. In my original playthrough, I feel like I put too much time into upgrading the car, which is good, but you guys don't want to see that. You want to see the story. You want to see cap here. You want to see anomalies. I get it. So we're going to do that. I have... Hmm. Have I fueled my car? I did not fuel my car. Dangerous games we're playing, man. Dangerous games. Let's go see cap here. Yo, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's cool. Okay, now I'm pretty sure... Because we went through E5, can we go straight to hit? So I gotta go all the way through E5. Okay, it's fine. We can pick up anchors on the way. I do that because if you pick up all the anchors in that area, you don't have to worry about the zone closing. And because this is a story mission, there's gonna be a way out anyway. Um, so it doesn't really matter about how many anchors you get. So I think there's one on the way down to. Yeah, sweet. We could have a little little circuit. Let's get the headlights on. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, and about those anomalies. We've already got a quote. I don't recommend you spend much time around them. Unless you've got a death wish, in which case, be my guest. Are you joking when me? We're all dead and gone. Limb technology, but a footnote in the history books. The anomalies will remain. They're the legacy of our work here. And the Olympic Peninsula. What the hell? To them now. So in the game, there's these things called oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Uh, there's these things called quirks. So things happen with your car that have a knock-on effect on something else. So for example, I'm turning left and right, and then left, and it's knocking my headlights out. That's a quirk. Now you can fix them, but you basically got to identify them yourself. Uh, let's get some materials on route. Why not? But yeah, them quirks can be annoying, especially when you don't know what you're looking for, but stuff is happening. It can really affect your car if you don't keep on top of them. It's a bit of a gimmick. It is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Oh yeah. Oh, dodge. Oh, shit. It's it. Got it. Oh, fuck. Get the fuck away, motherfucker. What the hell? It's so creepy. That's a good thumbnail. What? What? Oh my god! All right, get in the car. Yeah, we're leaving. It's gonna, it's gonna tow my car. Shit! Whoa! No, that's fine. Oh, you are kidding me? Give me it back, you little shit! There's radiation coming in though, so um, try and be quick. It's just a fuel truck. Steel door. Yeah, no, we're gonna get out of it. We're gonna get out of it. It's not safe. I feel like I've been very unlucky in this this playthrough. Like I've had like so many punctured tires. My lights are going on me. Let's get this anchor real quick. Damn, so that's all bomber. I'm trying to think of a good way out of here, and I I can't really identify one <laughs> to be honest. But we're just gonna do it anyway. Screw it. Right. In 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 in. There we go. That's one. Uh, and the other one. I think we can get out of here. Back down this way. I think. See, I don't like how it identifies this horrible dirty path as a road. Like, I would not know that this was a road. I see the anchor. I see it. It's there. Oh, that's where I need to turn. Should I try a handbrake turn? 
It's such a shit handbrake. Just heal up real quick. Ah! Oh. So yeah, if you, if you guys want to see more, I mean, I'm not expecting anything from this video, to be honest. But if, if you enjoy it, let me know. Because I, I love the vibe of this game, and I'm happy to play more. At least until Dragon's Dragma 2 comes out. Now, that game I am excited for. I am so excited. I played it as a kid, and I absolutely loved it. So the fact that it's getting, like, essentially a reboot. Fucking chuff, man. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh. Let me in my car. Drive, 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 drive. It's really not that bad, to be honest. <laughs> I've got another puncture on this left side. Something's going on there, man. I'm, I'm not making another... I'm going to have to. I'm going to die if not. This big green cloud, by the way, it's like seismic energy. Seis seismic? I don't know how you say it. Bonk! We're going to have to go through this piece of shit. And it's horrendous. You're about to find out. Yep, yeah, here we go. Woohoo! Oh, shit! Shit! We're fine. This is fine. Oh! Woo shit, I didn't know it was a fucking mountain path. Whoa! Oh, my God. Right. Just drive. Just drive. We're almost there. We've almost made it. We're so very close. Woo! Oh, shit! I, uh, all right. Okay. We're fine. This is fine. This is completely normal. And we're over it. That's actually a short one. I've been caught in the cloud in the middle of the map. And it like it's like followed me south down the map. And it was horrendous. Oh, I missed the turning. Oh. Fuck it. We're going down. We're going down. It's fine. It's, uh, it's fine. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> okay, okay. Alright. Uh. I went the wrong fucking way! Are you kidding me? No! <laughs> oh, I am. Um... Right. Well, I think we're meant to be on this bridge that's above us. So we finally made it to Sierra. <laughs> God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Edor Town, Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. Woo. You can't miss it. Now I'm going to pick up the anchors here as well, just because it's an easy way out. It's an easy way out. Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest hunger anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Humbrake! Driver, are you sure about this? Well, they'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's fine? Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cappy's still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. Ow, ow. I okay. get you, Francis, but... Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This hmm. isn't about sides. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. Thanks, Francis. The driver can make their own decision. I actually like Francis. She's kind of nice. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. So that's Cappy, a huge anomaly. And I think I forgot last time to scan him, so I need to remember to do that. But what happens if I... I need to test some it. I've not done this yet. Hit them with myself and then back off. Oh, shit! Oh, 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 oh I'm playing with fire there. Um, let's throw, uh, throw a rubber ducky. Or, oh, it's not even a rubber ducky, but... Oh, motherfucker. Oh! Oh, no, I thought I saw one. Woo! There's one. 
Now that I know that they move when you don't look at them, I'm actually uh, pretty creepy. Really creepy. So there's two anchors on the way, which is sweet, actually. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Then there you go. Where's the other one? <laughs> oh shit, okay. Never mind. Was that a tourist? There's a tourist there. Oh, and it rips off. Let's go! Oh my god! Holy shit. In you go. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see at all. It's fine. We're all good. Oh, buddy. Here we go. Woo! Sweet. Headlight's gone, but we're fine. Um. So that's where we need to go. Let's check these areas out. I need to, because I'm, I'm, I'm doing this playthrough with you guys. I don't want to spend too much time scavenging, but I'll, I'll edit it out if it's pointless. Death to tourists! Alright. He didn't drop what I wanted. Hey, Cappy. I'm just going to see if I scan the rips off. Holy shit! Look how many there is! Oh, I see one. I see one! Come to me! <laughs> yeah! Nope. Plastic. That's fine. I didn't realize how many tourists there were. Is that a friendly dumpster? It is! Jesus! Okay, okay. Nice. Uh, uh, Any more? Fuck! Cheers, dude. Coming to see you, Cappy. Be there momentarily. Uh, how do we go down here? Oh, shit! Oh, my God. <laughs> Almost died. Full of radiation around here, so I really don't want to get out of the car. It's so pretty, though. Huh. Hey, That's Cappy! Awesome. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to higher ground? I can't see shit right now. I'm just gonna follow this road. Wow. It's... I'd hate this effect. Jesus. This is tripping me out. Oh, I think we go up there. Yeah. More tourists. Um, geez, there's quite a few there as well. Let's just let's get parts up. Car's still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? It's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and Ooh. extract them. Got a few. And if you don't, um, I have tin food, but I'm not really be fine. that anyway, bothered like about. Say, what's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, <laughs> if it's the only way, yeah, you got this kit for it. I'm a little bit better. Where's my impact hammer? There it is. Can I do this? Uh Ah Electrician's kit. I've never done that before. I didn't know that were a thing. I thought it bugged out. Alright, okay. I've not unlocked electric oh, fuck's sake, right, okay. Yeet! Yeah. yeah! Why is it not blowing up? There we go! <laughs> nice! No thermosap though. And if there was, I definitely missed it. Because that was huge. 
They just don't explode. Oh, wait. What if I kick it? Shit. Okay, that was a bad... Ooh. Does that give me, like, a definite drop? No, but I'm going to kill myself. Okay, let's not. Nice to know you can kick him. It's just there's no, like... Is that a tourist? Dude, what are you doing? Oh! Well, that one was a mine. That was a landmine. That was not a tourist. Holy shit. All right, back to the car. Oh, no, no. Not just yet. I think we need to go up here and open the gates. Which is fine. You know. Let's turn you on. Yeah! Time to floor it, baby! I'm coming for you, Cappy. I'm coming, baby. Don't you worry. Woohoo! Woo! Oh, speed boost. Oh, yeah! Fucking epic. Now, this is as far as I've got in my playthrough. So, after this, I'm clueless, you know? I'm absolutely brain dead. I have no idea what to expect. Transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the arc device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car signal, and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. Sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Hey, that's the spirit, Oppie. I always knew you were nice. None of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and charge some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Jesus. Are you making use of my fabrication station to fix up that junker? You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. Of course I am. And there's the test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything for a spin. There's a test track? I didn't even know that. Oh, cool. So, we've unlocked the main bits for now. Anyway, I'm going to do some upgrading off camera. And when you come back, hopefully the car's looking uh, pretty fresh. You know what I mean? Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll see you next time. See you later.